Namaste Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate 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 Vasudevaya Pashanti Pashanti Te Pashanti Te Me Rucharanyam Basanta Pashanti Te Me Rucharanyam Chanani, Chanani, Rupani Divyani Varapradani, Rupani Divyani Varapradani, Sakam Bachams Prahani Yambadanti, Sakam Bachams Prahani Yambadanti, Vadanti. Oh, my mother, my devotees always see the smiling face in my form with eyes like the rising morning sun. They like to see my various transcendental forms, which are all benevolent, and they also talk favorably with me. Pasanti te me ruchirani amma santa prasanna bhaktra aruna lochanani rupani divyani varapradani shakang bhachang spriho nyana badanti in the previous verse, it is said, the Anannatu Bhagavata Prasadya Sabhajayanti Mama Purishani. Uh, those who are devotees, they assemble together. Bodhayantam uh, Parasparam. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, they discuss uh, about the glories of the Lord. Bodhantam Parasparam. That is Sadhu Sangha. We have also uh, discussed the Satang Prasanga Atma Vija Sangha Bhavanti Ritkanna Rasa. When things are discussed about the Supreme Personality of Godhead amongst the devotees, it becomes a different thing uh, than the discussion in the uh, debating club of the non-devotees. Uh, the Krishna katha is not a subject matter for debating club. It is meant for the devotees. Uh, Without devotees, nobody can understand. The others who are not devotees, they simply waste their time in reading Bhagavad Gita or Srimad Bhagavatam, such literature. They simply waste their time. Because these subject matters are for the devotees. <clears throat> we have several times discussed this point that the so-called scholars, politicians, and philosophers, they read Bhagavad-gītā and comment in a different way. This is their foolishness. They cannot understand Bhagavad-gītā. It is not possible. Oh. <clears throat> My Guru Mahārāj used to say, it is just like licking the bottle of honey. Now you want honey, I give you one bottle, but you do not know how to taste it. You began to lick up the bottle. Now what you will taste? If you think, here is the bottle of honey, let me lick. You will not get any taste. It must be open. But the opening key is with the devote. Uh, you do not know how to open it. Therefore, it is said, Satang prasangat mama bija sangvida bhavantirit kannara sayana. The devotee is now how to open it, the bottle. And then they can test. Therefore, sabhajayante jatra purushani. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, 
to Arjun that I am speaking to you the science of Bhagavad Gita. Imam Vivasati Yogam Pratmana Hamabhyam Idam Yogam. Bhagavad Gita means Bhakti Yogam. So Krishna said formally, say, four hundred millions of years ago, Bhagavad Gita is not new. Uh, it is, first of all, it was spoken to sun god. And from the Monu's age and other age, we can calculate, it is about some millions of years ago it was spoken. Imam vipassati yugaṁ paktavānaḥ abhyam. So Krishna said, that very old yoga system I am speaking to you again. It is not a new thing that I am manufacturing for you. No. Everything, uh, God is eternal and His instruction is also eternal. And the followers are also eternal. There is nothing new. Nitya sāsatayaṁ purāṇa. Nitya sāsatayaṁ purāṇa. Very old, but still it is eternal and fresh. This is spiritual matter. You read Bhagavad Gita. It was spoken four hundred millions of years ago, and then again five thousand years ago. Still, if you read Bhagavad Gita daily, you will find it fresh. You will never find it old, as Krishna is never old. Addaita achyati anādi ananta rūpam ādhyam purāna purusam. Krishna is the purāna, the oldest man, but navajo But he is always seen, find Krishna, uh, just a young boy, half twenty years, navajo So similarly, uh, Krishna's words, everything Krishna, absolute, his name, his form, his quality, his activities, they're all fresh and new. Otherwise, how the devotees can glorify the same Krishna daily with greater enthusiasm? Greater enthusiasm. The more you glorify, you feel more enthusiastic to more. Glorify, glorify, glorify. This is spiritual. In the material world, if you speak one thing once, twice, thrice, four times, then it becomes disgusting. But how this Hare Krishna mantra, you are chanting, you can chant twenty-four hours, it will feel fresh and enthusiastic. That is spiritual. Therefore, <coughs> let <me see. coughs> therefore, it is a, not a subject matter. This sound is not like this radio material sound. It is also sound, but it is spiritual sound, and it is coming from the spiritual world. Just like in the material world, we can release some sound from here. It can be heard from thousands of miles, but not more than that. The spiritual sound, it is uh, released from many, many millions and millions and trillions of miles away. Uh, still, it can be heard, provided you have got the machine to capture that is Bhagavad Prem. Uh, so those who have God develop <coughs> love of Godhead, they can hear. As it is said in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that I am speaking to you the old message, Bhagavad Gita, which I spoke to Sun God some millions of years ago. Uh, so why you are speaking to me? Uh, I am not a Vedantist, I am not a sannyasi, 
I am not uh, any advanced in spiritual understanding. Uh, people may say, but Krishna says, yes, uh, you are my bhakto, bhakto Therefore, to understand Bhagavad-gītā means one has to become first of all a bhakto. The so-called non-devotee atheist class, a scholar and politician, they cannot understand. It is not possible. They cannot enter into it. The same thing, leaking of the honey bottle, that's all. What you will taste? It is not possible. Therefore Krishna says that vidhi pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya upadakshanti tat jnanam jnanina tat darshina. The same example can be. You can go to a person who knows how to open the bottle of honey, then you can test. Otherwise if you simply lick up the uh, book, Bhagavad-gītā, becoming a very big scholar, will never taste it. <clears throat> will never taste it. You can satisfy yourself. Now I'm licking up daily Bhagavad-gītā, thrice. But what will understand unless you are a devotee? Uh, you'll not understand. The bottle is packed up. <clears throat> so, Yet it is said, Pasanti teme ruchirāṇi amva santa. They can see me, santa. Not these rascals and fools. They can see, cannot see me. Nāhaṁ prakāsa sarvasya yoga-māyā samābṛtaha, Bhagavān says in the Bhagavad Gita. I am not exposed to these uh, fools and rascals, non-devotees. Why I say fools and rascals to the non-devotees? I am not saying. Krishna says, namang duskitunam mūrha prabaddhante naradhama. Mūrha means rascal. Mūrha means rascal. And duskitunam. Duskitunam means always engaged in sinful activities. Uh, no restraint. They can eat everything, they can drink everything, they can do everything without any restriction. They think, what is that in drinking and eating in the matter of religion? That is the new invention of samis and yogis, that you can do everything and still you become at once. But that is not possible. <clears throat> One has to become a pure brāhmaṇa. Then why in the Vedic civilization a pure Brahman is so respected because they are symboling representation of the Vedas. Satta, Sama, Dhamma, Titikha, Arjava, Jnanam, Vijnanam, Astikam. That is Brahman who has got this uh, qualification. Suttam, who has taken the absolute truth as the aim of life. People, ordinary people, how they know? Uh, Sattam, saucham, very clean, always. Trishandha, snan, taking bathing, thrice. Uh, Sattam, saucham, samam, controlling the mind. Not that I am servant of my mind, I shall do what my mind dictates. These are the qualification of Brahman. Samam, dhamam, controlling the senses. Uh, these are the symbolic representation of the Vedas. Uh, so, therefore, satāṁ prasaṅgaṁ, where one has to discuss about the Supreme Personality of Godhead, among the satāṁ, santo, satāṁ santo, the same thing, santo. Mm. Here the word is, is santo. Pasyanti me te me ruchirāṇi Amma, mother, they can see. Santa. Santa sadaiva ridayesu. Below coins. In the Brahma Sangita, again this word is used. Santa. Primanyana churita bhakti bilochanena. Santa. 
सदैव हृदय सुविलोकयंत यंग श्याम सुंदरम अचिंत गुणस्वरूप गोविंदमादिपुरुषम तमहंग भजा कृष्णा गोविंदा श्याम सुंदा इज मैं फॉर दि सन्त नॉट फॉर दि नराधमास दुष्कृत न मूढ़ास दे कैनॉट अंडरस्टैंड वन हैज टू क्वालिफाई हिमसेल्फ टू बी सीनलेस नमांग दुष्कृत दिस इज सेड एंड अनदर पैराग्राफ इज दे साम तु अंतगत पापम जनाना पुण्यकर्मा those who are completely free from sinful activities ji sham tu antakat no more touch with sinful life te dand mahan in mukta bhajanti mang diram prata they can fix up their devotion and service to krishna it is not so easy but one can become immediately a sant within a second how that also कृष्ण से दैट सर्वधर्मान पुरीतज मामेक शरण व्रज अहंग सर्व पापी भम खुश द क्वालिफिकेशन इज अनलेस वन इज सीनलेस ही कैनॉट अंडरस्टैंड कृष्ण ही कैनॉट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज कृष्ण भजन बट इफ वन इज ईगर इज एक्चुअली वेरी ईगर यू कैन डू इट इमीजिएट वॉट इज दैट सरेंडर टू कृष्ण सर्वधन मान फरित ज गिव आव ऑल दिस नॉन सेंस सो कॉल रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल सिंपली सरेंडर टू कृष्ण कृष्ण आई वॉज फॉर गॉटन अबाउट यू नाउ आई सरेंडर एंड टू यू फुल्ली इफ यू लाइक यू कैन किल मी इफ यू लाइक यू कैन गिव मी प्रोटेक्शन दिस इज सरेंडर नॉट बिजनेस कृष्ण इफ यू गिव मी this nice thing then i will surrender that is not surrender that is business uh, when prahlad maharaj was offered benediction the my dear prahlad you have suffered so much for me even from your father now your enemies are all or you can ask any benediction you like prahlad maharaj said What is this, my dear Lord? Am I a benia, bonik? That because I have suffered for you, I shall ask some benediction? Don't, don't offer me that. Because you are the supreme powerful, whatever I want, I can get from you. And I am born in the Osuro families. I am inclined for this material enjoyment. So. Don't delude me, my dear sir. Then I can ask you. And why shall I ask you? Because I have seen my father so powerful. Even the demigods are afraid of him. And you have finished all his power within a second. So why shall I ask for these things? Kindly engage me in the service of your servant. This much I want. I don't want anything. Uh, therefore, uh, a devotee never asks uh, anything material from the supreme personality, as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us. Na dhananga na jananga na sundaring kavitang ba jagadish kaam. They are simply satisfied by glorifying the Lord. That is their only satisfaction. Uh, If he they if they get the opportunity of glorifying the Lord, as it is said in the previous verse, that sabhajayante mama pourishani, mama pourishani, the glorious activities of the Lord. This is the way of bhajan. Satatang kita antang ma jatan tasthadi rabrata. This is the way of bhakti yoga. Simply glorify this. The glorification, so much activities. Krishna therefore comes to give advantage to the devotees. 
for glorifying him because he acts paritranayam sadunam vinashaya ke duskita to kill the demons and to give protection to the sadhus he has to work uh, from the very beginning of krishna's birth uh, the enemies are there demons are there konsa advice uh, he is um, i mean to say constables so be very careful as soon as there is krishna's birth immediately inform me and i shall kill you he was always thinking of krishna a first class krishna concept ah uh, always but to kill him uh, similarly you will find there are so called religionists uh, their only purpose so called scholars their only purpose is how to kill krishna you will find so many commentaries by the politician by the so called scholars but their only aim is how to kill krishna how to take away krishna from bhagavad gita no men sign of bhagavad gita of krishna they talk so many nonsense but they will never say that krishna is the supreme personality of godhead and he should be worshiped they will never say that means osuras asuri bhavama punna namang duskita nam mudha prapadante naradhama maya apritagana oh they are very big big scholars sir uh, you are talking about them as mudha naradhama yes because although they are so called scholars their real knowledge has been taken maya apritagana why this punishment that their knowledge has been taken up asuri bhava masita they are simply thinking of killing me that's all how to uh, evade krishna bhakti that is their whole propaganda so we should not be like that uh, if we want to be fixed up then in devotional service then as it is advised by kapil de he is the supreme personality god he incarnate and he says poshanti te me ruchirani amma sant they can see uh, that so unless god has got form how one can see uh, how god can be niraka god is never niraka but his sachidananda vigraha his akar is not like us ishara parama krishna sachidananda vigraha his form is sachit ananda this body is not sachit ananda sat means sitanand and chit means full of knowledge and ananda means full of bliss so if we study is our body eternal no sir it is temporary say 50 years 60 years at most 100 years so it is not eternal it is not sat asat ah asatoma sadgama the breathing injunction don't keep yourself in this asat body just get your original sat body eternal body we are not interested you are simply interested with this temporary body uh, i am this body i am not this body i am spirit soul i am within this body this is knowledge this is called siddhi uh, so long i am thinking i am this body then i am cats and dogs they are thinking like that but when i know that i am not this body i am the spirit spark spirit soul i am encased within this body that is knowledge that is knowledge <coughs> so those who are self realized uh, spirit soul uh, they can see parma bhuta prasanna atma na suchati na kankhati samasarvi sudhuteshu mad bhakti lavati punam that bhakti means they can see 
God, Krishna, and they can serve Him. Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, Bhakti Richard. Bhakti means to engage your senses, Rishi, and in the service of the Rishikesha. That is Bhakti. So here it says, Pashanti Teme Richirani. Uh, Krishna is so beautiful, Ruchirani. Ruchi means very attractive. Uh, now, fortunately, uh, people in Bombay say that our deity here is more beautiful. Uh, they say there is no such deity in Bombay city. Hmm. So this is uh, our duty to dress Krishna in such an attractive way that people at least see that it is very beautiful. Then he becomes a devotee. Simply by appreciating. Simply by appreciating if they say, no, the deity worship is very nice, uh, then they go a step forward. Uh, step forward. Immediate. Uh, simply by appreciation. Then other things will come uh, gradually. Uh, therefore the temple worship should be exactly to the routine and to the instruction of the śāstra and guru and ācārya so that the worshipper in the temple as well as the visitor, both of them will benefit. They will be gradually seen. Krishna is so kind that He has consented to appear in a way so that we can see. At the present moment we cannot see Krishna as He spiritually embodied. Satchitananda Vigra. Because we have no eyes to see Satchitananda Vigra. So here is also Satchitananda Vigra, Achamurti. It is not idol worship. The atheist class may say so. But it is not so. Those who have got eyes, they can see. Just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he entered the temple of Jagannath, immediately fainted. Oh, here is my Lord. Here is my Lord. So one has to become santa, then one can see. But it is culture by culture. Premanyana Charita Bhakti Bilochane. Santa Sadayu. When you develop that culture, when you develop that love for Krishna, then you will see immediately and you will faint. Oh, here is my love. <coughs> so, prasanna bhaktra aruna lochanāyani. Prasanna bhaktra. Hmm. Prasanna means pleasing. Uh, somebody was ta- talking that they are, your deity is just like trying to talk with Prasanna Yes. He is eager to talk with you. But he is waiting whether you are interested to talk with him. That's all. Krishna says that Tesam Satata Yuktanang Bhajatang Priti Purvakam Buddhi Yugam Dadamitam. He talks. But with whom? Tesam Satata Yuktanang. One who is twenty-four hours engaged with love and faith in the service of the Lord. Uh, to whom? Just like if you want to talk with some big man, then you must have qualification. Uh, is, it, is it possible that if you want to talk with the uh, big man here, immediately you like? No, you cannot talk. You must be fit to talk with him. Similarly, Krishna is ready to talk with you. He has come. He has descended in Archamurti to talk with you, to be visible by you. Now you make yourself ready and fit to talk with you. Then you will exchange conversation. Santas sadai varidai This is possible. This is a qualification. <coughs> Sa rūpāṇi dibbāṇi varapradāṇi. Dibbāṇi. Dibbā means divine. Uh, dibbāṇi. 
Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma karma chame dibbam. Dibbam. They are not material things. Uh, one has to see. Uh, so uh, if you say, as it is said, Shakam vacham spriyaniyang badanti. Spriyaniyang. Very favorably you talk. Uh, suppose if I say, you have no eyes, you are blind. This is not favorable. Uh, so the non devotees, Mahabhadi, they say the God has no eyes. So it is indirectly saying God is blind. So if I say you are blind, you nonsense, you are blind. Is it favorable you talking? Uh, most unfavorable. Uh, directly insulting. Uh, so those who are talking about God, Niraka, no eyes, no leg, no head, no tail, nothing, Niraka, they are simply blaspheming. Uh, not spionia. Uh, God does not want to hear such nonsense things. Uh, therefore it is said, Sakanga Bhatanga Spriyanyanga Bhadanti. You cannot say that Krishna is blind, Krishna is lame, Krishna has no hands, Krishna has no nothing, nothing. Indirectly saying Krishna has does not exist. This kind of addressing Krishna, uh, Niraka, is not uh, favorable talking with Krishna. The favorable talking, if you want to talk with Krishna, then you must concern the Vedic literature, how Krishna is worshipped. Vinam kannantam aravinda dalayatakṣaṁ varahāvatam samasitāṁ vidasandarāṅgam kandarpakūtika maniya viśeśa sobhaṁ govindam ādipurisaṁ tamahaṁ bhajāmi my Lord Krishna, Govinda, he is playing on his flute. Benum kannantam. Aravinda dalayatakṣaṁ. His eyes are just like petals of the lotus flower. Aravinda dalayatakṣaṁ. Varahāvatam sa. Oh, he has a nice uh, peacock feather. These are the basic description of Krishna. In not that the devotees have imagined some that the Mahavadi says, just imagine the form of God. The God's form cannot be imagined. That is not God. Anything imagination is not fact. It must be factual. And the factual information you get from the Vedas. Uh, not only you get the Vedas, when Krishna was present on this earth, he exhibited his roop. Hmm? Uh, his form, his activities, his lila, everything he exhibited so kindly. So you have to think of this Krishna lila, Krishna's form, Krishna's activities, janma karma chame, dibbam, they are divine. They are not material because Krishna has got divine body. Uh, Satchitananda vigraha. But to favor us, because devotees are always anxious to see, therefore he comes. When Krishna says, Paritrana sadhunam vinasaya cha diskita, samabhāṁ is He comes for two business. Uh, first business is paritrāna sadhuna. The sadhus, uh, the santas, or the devotees, they are always, I mean to say, given trouble by this atheistic class of men. So therefore they have no other uh, means. Uh, they simply uh, think of Krishna, just like Prahlad Maharaj. Even his father was giving him trouble, uh, so much trouble uh, that he was, he wanted to kill him somehow or other. Uh, so they hear the santas, they come. They have to suffer so much trouble by the demands. Therefore, we have already discussed that verse, that, uh, what is that? Mm. 
तितिक सभा तितिक सभा कारुणी का शांता मीन ही हेज टू सफर जस्ट सी इन द वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज द लॉर्ड जीसस क्राइस्ट यू आर स्पीचिंग अबाउट गॉड गॉड कॉन्शसनेस दैट वॉज द ओनली फॉल्ट एंड यू आज क्रूसीफाई यू सी यू आज क्रूसीफाई the state order him to be crucified because he is talking similarly uh, hiranyakashipu he is five years old boy he was talking only of krishna narayana uh, uh, so uh, that for his father became enemy he was trying in so many ways to kill him uh, this is the very old story that if you become a devotee You must be prepared to oh, be uh, mane, put into miserable condition by the demons. That is that business. Asuri bhavam asit. Osura, just like even uh, Krishna, even God Himself, He was attempted to be killed by Konsa. Uh, not only that, He engaged so many demons. Uh, Putona. अघासुर बकासुर महिषासुर सो मेनी असुर बट कृष्ण इज ऑल इज कृष्ण परित्राण सान विनाश आज दुष्कृत ही इज एबल टू फिनिश दिस दुष्कृत और दि असुर बाय इज ओमनी पोटेंसी दैट ही कैन डू बट दि असुर आर ऑल इज देर ओनली बिजनेस इज टू गिव ट्रैवल टू गॉड एंड इज दि बॉडी That for it is advised, titik sabo karuni ka suida sarvadi na. A devotee should be so advanced that, in spite of uh, being troubled by the uh, osuras, he should tolerate titik sabo, and still he should be kind upon him. Not that this man is uh, talking against me, against God. Therefore, I shall be angry. And drive him away. No, titik sabo karunika. Everyone in this material world, more or less, they are osuras, atheists. So, if you want to preach, then you have to learn tolerance and speak in such a way that these osura can become also devote. That is the business. So here it is said. That shakang baachang spriho niyang abadanti. So we should pray in such a way, Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, spriho niya. Don't think he's dead stone. Dead. That is the conclusion of the atheist class. And no, dead. No. You talk in such a way that he will be pleased upon you. He will be pleased. He is pleased. He is satisfied in himself. Uh, but he wants to see that you are also talking about him pleasingly. That's all. Uh, therefore, he comes. Paritrana uh, sadhuna bina sadhuna. You uh, talk unpleasingly or pleasingly. It doesn't matter to Krishna. Uh, but if you talk pleasingly, then. Uh, you become benefited. Uh, you become benefited. So therefore, there are stotra. Therefore, Krishna's another name is Uttama Sloka. Uttama Sloka. Meaning, he is worshipped. God is worshipped by the best selected words, uh, not uh, patchy words. No, all selected words. So you'll find uh, in so many uh, prayers. Uh, not only in our Vedic scripture and other uh, scripture also in Bible in Quran, uh, the prayer prayer is also devotion. Sabanang kirtanang Vishnu smaranang padasevanam archanang bandhanang dasham bandhanang. This bandhanang, the Christians and the Mahometans they offer bandhanang. Uh, they although they do not worship. Uh, the deity, but they offer prayers to the Lord. Uh, that is also good. That is also bhakti. 
archanam bandhanam dasyam sakham atmani. There are nine different processes. So you accept uh, all of them or some of them and at least one, then your life is successful. Spriyanti, uh, very selected words. Uh, you surrender to him, uh, but don't talk things which does not please him. Uh, you don't say that God is formless, God has no eyes, no leg, no head. Uh, these things are there. Uh, just like in the Vedas it is said, apāni pāda yamanagrahita, uh, that he has no hand, but he can accept your offerings. That if he has no hand, then how he can offer your offerings? Uh, how he can accept your offerings? Uh, he has his hand, but not like our hand. Uh, he can extend his hand millions of miles. Just like Krishna leaves his Goloka, Goloka Vrindavan, that planet is many millions and trillions of miles away. Uh, but he can accept what you offer. That is Krishna's hand. Not like your hand, three feet. No. Therefore, sometimes in the Vedas, he, it is said, that God has no hand. That means He has no this material hand. But He can accept your offerings. That means He has got hand, but that is a different type. That is explained, Satchitananda Vigraha. Oh. So in this way we have to study the science of God, the science of Krishna. Then our life will be successful. And takta dihaṁ punarjanvanaiti and if we can understand uh, Krishna's activities, Krishna, Krishna's form, Krishna's quality, then we become fit for going back to home, back to Godhead. Taktadi hang punar janmanaiti mami. Thank you very much.